Mr. Paidu here with some more Hex TCG. This is game two of the third tier of the Frost Ring Arena. We're against the Ballistics Expert, which increases the non combat damage dealt by dwarves and artifacts by one. And for four charges, one sapphire and one ruby threshold, target troop gets exhausted. This deals one damage to target champion or troop, which will be two damage because of his passive ability. Let's play first. And let's see what our first hand will be. It is two shards, a unearthable tormentor, a fierce warlord, suppressive fire, some burn. I mean, it's an okay hand. Hmm. So on turn two, we'll have a 2-2 two, two, and a 2-1 on the board. With some burn, we can bypass some stuff. I think it's alright. We have two shards, which is fine. Oh, and he mulliganed to six, which is pretty good. And looks like it is a challenge. <laughs> oh, okay, so he starts the game with an Inferno, which probably is better for me. Uh, the center's play with an Inferno counter at the start of each champion's turn. Choose one at random, add an Inferno counter to this, or deal one damage to that champion for each Inferno counter on this. So as long as I don't get really unlucky, if just split evenly, it should favor me more than him. Because I am probably the aggro deck in this situation. Let's drop the Unmerciful Tormentor. Uh, next turn, the best draw would probably be a Ridge Raider. We could also, we'd also be okay with a Kindling Scarn, Savage Raider. Uh, no, maybe another Fierce Warlord. Let's see. And it will deal one damage to him. Which is fine. Drops a Sapphire resource. And drops a Forge of Kadok. Which... Put another artifact or dwarf in your hand in your deck. When you play this to gain more resources. So that's pretty good for him. Since he just needs to put a bunch of stuff on the board to stop me. Drops down a Charge Bot. Getting close to his charge power. Next turn, if we don't draw any troops, we'll probably just Fierce Warlord. Let's see what we get. And it gains another counter. Kindling Scarn, okay, that's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Next turn. What we can do, let's see. Let's see what the action is. Hopefully it's a one cost action. Oh, Power of Zakir. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what we want to do. I think we'll save the charge power for next turn, and then next turn we can suppress a fire and then burn. So I guess that means not attacking this turn, because you could just kill the Tormentor. So let's pass it over to him. Hopefully it deals damage to him, that'd be pretty cool. And that would just gain the counter. Okay. Drops another sapphire resource. Will he attack with the charge bot? I doubt it. Taps the forge. Or exhausts the forge. Plays. Augmentation bot. Okay, that should be fine. Wait, let's see what the equipment does. Another one, okay. So it can activate its ability like two times a turn. Okay, so this turn... Let's see how much burn do we have? We do have like eight damage of burn right now. And Ruby Shard is great. So we can suppress a fire and the power of Zakir. Let's add an attack to the Tormentor. Sure. And then I guess we'll power of Zakir his face first. And then suppressive fire. Let's see what we draw. Ashwood Solist. Oh, wait, what? Oh, draw three cards. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just suppressive fire still. 
So I guess our tormentor is not going to get pumped up anytime soon. But we are pushing through for five damage. Oh, and the Inferno dealt damage to us at the start of the turn. It's okay, I guess. So we swing through for five damage. We have five damage in hand for burn. So it's down to 11. We can Fierce Warlord next turn. And hopefully the Inferno hits him. Instead of adding on a counter. Okay, it does hit him, that's really good. We only need to deal three damage to him now. And then our burn will take him out. So hopefully he attacks with something. He doesn't attack. And he just ends this turn, okay. That's fine. And the Inferno hits us. Let's see, if we just burn his stuff. Crackling Bolt, and then Burn, and this will get pumped up to a 6-6, six, six, and this will attack in for lethal, so let's just do that. Oh, let's try burning his charge bot. See if he has any counters or something. Doesn't look like it, we'll take out his charge bot. Use Crackling Bolt on the Augmentation bot. takes it out, and let's just add attack onto that Tormentor, just in case he has, I don't know, life gain or something. And I'll swing with everything, and we should have the turn four kill this turn. At least he has some weird card. Deal combat damage, and we win, so that's 7-0 and o to start this arena. It's really good. We won the challenge, so let's see what the buff will be for the boss. Get a gold pouch, of course. Hopefully it's another arena brawler. That seems pretty good. Okay. I do certainly deserve it. So, we get another arena brawler in play for the tier 3 boss, and next time we'll take on the Munorayu Sensei. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode.